Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic was by request. Uh, somebody messaged me privately and told me that they love the concepts of things that I talk about, about positive energy and being in a positive mind frame. And their question was sort of how do I do this if I'm having a bad day or if I'm in a very difficult situation? And it's a really good question. And the truth is, is that it's possible, but it's not easy. And it's something that has to, it has to be more important for you to feel good than it is to not feel good, if that makes sense. So the power is in your hands. And I myself am still learning how to do this. So by no means am I an expert, but I can give you some little tips and tricks to sort of help out in this area. So one thing that I do uh, that I've read about that's really, really helped me is from the a good day, basically, you know how we say to each other, have a, have a great day, have a nice day. Well, how about you create that day? How about you, stay with me here. So getting up in the morning, for example, and you stub your toe and you go, you know, F this, this is a horrible day and, you know, I'm a loser, I stub my toe and I'm tired and that's the type of day that you are going to create. Um, from getting up out of bed in the morning to having that feeling or if you're tired or if you're angry about something or it's it's snowing outside and you're like, oh crap, this weather's crap and the traffic's going to be bad. And yes, all those things still might happen. You might actually be right about that. But it's about putting your mindset in a different place. Because if you're already starting the day like that, your day most likely is going to be crap. I mean, I'm not saying that somebody can't get up, stub their toe, be mad, and then like win the lottery or something. I mean, I'm sure that happens somewhere. But this is sort of like the law of attraction way of thinking. And just so you know, there are many more laws, universal laws, than the law of attraction. There are so many laws. A uh, law of attraction is the one that's spoken about the most. But there are so many laws. Um, so what I'm talking about is like when you feel something and some people believe, and I do believe, that you attract more of that. So if you're having a bad morning and you're sort of miserable and you're going to go to work and you're going to be miserable at work and you don't think people know that you're miserable at work, believe me, they know because I've been miserable at work and everybody knows you're miserable at work. So an interesting concept is to try and create your day. The onus is on you. So what kind of day are you going to have? So, you know, get up in the morning, be grateful. Always the number one thing is to be grateful. You know, you, you've opened your eyes, you're able to get out of bed. Ask anybody who isn't how grateful they would be to be able to do that, to get out of bed even. For some people, it's, it's a real struggle. So there's something there to be grateful for. You know, be grateful for your, as you're going about your morning routine, maybe be grateful for your home or your apartment or wherever you live. Be grateful while you're eating your breakfast that you have food or that you have coffee, right? And these are all little things that we all take for granted every single day. So just start to notice things, start to be more appreciative of things and grateful. And you don't have to sit there and say this out loud. I mean, you're just thinking it in your head and going about your day. Get in your car, go to work, be grateful you have a car, be grateful you have a job. And, you know, even if you don't like where you're working or where you're going, you could always uh, put yourself in the mindset like today's going to be a great day. Today's going to be a great day. You know, I'm going to just like crush it at work. I'm going to like have the best day. I'm going to get so much done. I'm going to have wonderful interactions all day. Everybody's going to be in a great mood. And if they're not, I'm going to be in a great mood because that crap is contagious, I tell you. So it sort of does start with you, how your day is going to be. And even if the most horrific thing happens to you in a day, when your intentions are good, your day is always going to be better, like parts of the day are going to be better. So I want you to try this exercise if it's something that you're struggling with. And I still struggle with this, but I still, I know the benefits of it. So I still do it. And it's easily to change our mindset and to flip things around and turn a negative into a positive when all possible. So I want to just illustrate this for you of a scientific proof that I've read about is Dr. Emoto. So Dr. Emoto is a Japanese scientist 
And he had this experiment where he would take water and he would freeze the water because when water is frozen, it, it, it crystallizes and it does something really interesting. So what he did is he took a bottle of water, regular tap water, and he took another bottle of regular tap water and he put a sticker on one of them saying, I love you. And he actually said to the water, I love you. And he gave it love and, you know, sounds nuts, but hear me out. So then the other bottle, he put a note on it saying, I hate your guts or something similar to that and gave that energy to that bottle. He froze both of those water bottles and when they were frozen with this energy that he's put into this water, the one that he said, I hate you, came out and it was like, it looked really strange. It looked like something out of a horror movie. It was just really dark. It was um, made a pattern that to me when I saw it, I thought, wow, that's kind of scary. Like it just was not, um, not a good image. And the one that he told, I love you, came out looking like beautiful snowflakes. Absolutely beautiful snowflakes with a beautiful design, really bright. And um, if you think about it, our bodies are 70 to 80% water. We are made of water. So imagine what your thoughts and what your emotions are doing to your body when you have bad thoughts or negative thoughts or negative experiences and you your your emotions is what guides you know what's what what's happening so and I always say and we all know this and it's not easy to do but we can't control what's going on around us but we can control the way we react to what's going on around us so very interesting experiment you can google it you can see all the pictures of what happened um you know and I, I'm a really big believer in this and I know some days I'm not having a good day or there's not a good start to the day or I might get some bad news and again it's not easy but you can turn it around if you put your mind into it and you focus on it and they say it takes about a month to two to three months depending on the person if you practice this every single day and I challenge you to try it I challenge you to get up tomorrow morning and go this is gonna be an awesome day I'm gonna rock this day I am not going to have any problems today and I'm going to be in a great mood despite what's going on around me. I'm going to rock the shit out of this day. I challenge you and uh, let me know how it goes. And so hopefully this helps a little bit. And uh, remember, you are in control. You are in control of your emotions. So give me a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more and have a great day. Be well and make a great day. Bye.